Welcome to Life Transformation Radio. This show is all about life transformations and our journey from where we were to why we are doing what we are doing today. We will discuss the hiccups, the roller coasters, and the blood, sweat, and tears that has been poured out while discovering our purpose. It is all about our transformation. Here is your host, Sean Douglas. Good afternoon and good evening and welcome to another episode of Life Transformation Radio. I am your host, Master Resilience Implementer, TEDx Speaker, Business Positioning Strategist, and Author, Sean Douglas. This show is currently heard in over 74 countries. So whether it's your first time joining us or you've been listening to us for some time, I want to thank you to those who are listening from around the world. Life Transformation Radio is all about our transformation. Here is where we tell the stories of why we're doing what we're doing. We highlight that transformational moment that changed our lives and how we use it to then transform others and elevate their lives as well. Listen to us live right here on the Blog Talk Radio Network, Tuesday through Friday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can join our Facebook community, Life Transformation Radio Community, and interact with the guests and other listeners that listen to the show. I ask that you subscribe wherever it is that you listen to podcasts. We're available on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify, TuneIn, Player FM, Radio Public, Overcast, CastBox, the Himalaya app, the Google Play Music app, basically wherever you listen to podcasts or radio shows. Life Transformation Radio is there. So please subscribe and then leave us a rating and review to let us know how we're doing. On the show are entrepreneurs, speakers, business owners, coaches, podcasters, authors, basically amazing people who are impacting the world around them. And my guest today does exactly that. If you have any questions for any of the guests that I bring on the show during our live broadcast, Tuesday through Friday at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can call us up at 657-383-1109. Again, the number is 657-383-1109. And with that, please help me welcome to the show my guest for today, Veronica Rosenfeld. Veronica, welcome to Life Transformation Radio. Happy to be here. I am so excited to have you on the show because you're a speaker and a clarity expert for business professionals. And I believe that clarity is one major flaw in someone that can be detrimental to the fact that it's holding them back from achieving the level of success that they want. And I really am excited to dive in about that topic of clarity of uh, being a speaker and doing energy work because I'm just, I'm completely fascinated. I've had other like energy healers uh, and they each have their own kind of corner of the market work that they do. And it's so different than everything else that everyone is doing. So I'm super pumped. I'm excited for this. I'm very excited to be here. So the title of this episode is Building Deep Clarity with Speaker and Clarity Mentor, Veronica Rosenfeld. She is an accomplished speaker and clarity mentor. Veronica speaks on how to create breakthrough and momentum in your life and business through clarity and energy work. Veronica helps business owners and professionals build deep clarity of what is next for them, clarity that doubles their income and saves millions of dollars along with decades of their time and energy. She is privileged to advise entrepreneurs of multi-million dollar and small companies alike, create corporate professionals and everyone in between. Veronica helps people like you create a vision for your business and life and remove subconscious blocks from your childhood to instantly get you to the life you've always wanted. Being a fourth generation intuitive, proud mom of two amazing kids, having a finance degree and over 12 years experience in corporate America, Veronica combines energy work, business advice, and her life experience in a unique process that works like a clock every time. In 2017, Les Brown presented Veronica with the Most Outstanding Life Coach and Energetic Healer Award of the Year. 
any questions or want to connect with Veronica Roosevelt after the show, go to www.urise.today. U Y O U, U Rise. Dot today, right there in the show notes, you can click on the link and connect with her on Facebook and other social media platforms. So, Veronica, my first question for you, and it's a big one. My favorite question to ask is why? What is your deep why for what you do? Well, my why is I deeply believe that clarity will save the world. Many of us think that maybe love and peace will save the world. But I think when you clearly know who you are and what is very next for you, not only you rise to your greatness and step to your destiny, but you create that inner peace inside of you. And that inner peace reflects with outer peace. Because if you in, in so focus on working on fulfill your destiny, you have zero time to have conflict with anyone else. And so it creates outer peace. And with outer peace, I believe it could ir- not only it, it could eradicate global mm-hmm. warming and it's eradicate wars. Because if each of us is going to be in peace with ourselves, we will be in peace with each other and wars are going to be eradicated. And I do believe that global warming is nothing but it's energetic reaction of the planet on our false beliefs and our actions. So I do deeply, my why, yeah, that's what my why is, is that I believe that is that it can save the world. Very cool. Uh, I'm very intrigued that you said that you think it can stop or mitigate or whatever global warming and wars. That is a huge task. I mean, it, we can go back to battles that are going on right now, world wars, uh, just the wars that the United States have been in. Uh, there was Indian War. I mean, it's forever, battles forever, you know, from, from the turn of the century, you know, year one, you know, uh, 10,000 B.C. there were battles. I believe it's a human problem, not so much – um, like a gun problem or a, you know, like a hate problem. It, 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 it's a human problem because people hate and people don't take their anger or their inner, like you said, their inner peace, right? So they don't take their inner, you know, anguish or their problems. And they're just, they don't deal with it well enough. Like, well, I'm just going to go fight the guy. You know, and there is not a lot of peace in the world. And I definitely believe that there needs to be something, you know, there needs to be something going on. Because every time we turn around, there's some kind of a shooting or some kind of a war or some kind of a, a, a bombing or some kind of a terrorist attack or some kind, like something is always going on. And, you know, murder rates in the cities or whatever it is that that is happening There's got to be something out there, and and I just think it is a people. It is a person. It is that singular person who is not leading with kindness and love, and uh, we just – there's something that has to be done. I I truly believe it starts with each of us because we've all been in the confrontational situations. I'm sure you've been. I've been, right? Oh, yeah. But it's not how we react to it, you know? Like oh, you and sure. I, I, I witnessed your confrontation situation just a few seconds before the show, right? But it's how we react to it. We can create a war out of it, or we can create that very positive reaction. And if you are holding completely inner peace with yourself, the other side cannot do the, anything. I mean, they can they can create their anger, but my deepest belief is that when you, you know, when somebody does something wrong to them, to you, it's their karma. And mm-hmm. when you react, it's yours. And so it's it's your – and re- karma is like um, – it's just a reaction, uh, environmental reaction. I believe that global warming is a karmic reaction of a planet. Ah, I never heard it put that way. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. So speaking of the conflict, I remember, 
you know, I had a conversation with my dad and I'm a man of principle. Everything I do is based on principle. If I don't like something, it's because I feel like it's out of balance or it's the principle behind it. It's not about being right. My need to be right doesn't trump things. I'm wrong sometimes. But I had a conversation with my dad, and I told him, I said, I'm at, you know, like I'm working all day long. Like I'm just, I'm at it. You know, I'm grinding, hustling, grinding, working, you know, getting things done. And when I bring up the, hey, what, what do you think, you know, for dinner? Like, what are you thinking about? You know, what would you like? You know, uh, I don't know. Just pick up a pizza. Like, what? we can't cook? Like, look, I'm not cooking. Like, I'm tired. And I'm like, talking to the spouse. I'm like, like, I've been working all day, too. Like, what have you done? And apparently, that is where I went wrong. <laughs> you know? Like, you don't say those things, but as a newlywed, I'm like, what the heck have you done all day? You know, and my dad, he's like, man, I've been married a long time. Sometimes you just go pick up the pizza and talk about it tomorrow. I'm like, no, it's the <laughs> principle. I was working hard. I'm not going to just make dinner too. He's like, well, you either make dinner, you go get a pizza, or you fight about it and nobody gets to eat. So what are you going to do? This is ridiculous. So I just went and picked up a pizza. <laughs> like, I was mad. I was like pissed. Wait, no, it's the principle. Like, we as a family need to eat dinner. That's, <laughs> that's the problem. But how are we going to solve it? Well, it's the principle. Like, why can't you make dinner? Like, what have you done? And, and then it turns out on me, like, well, what have you done? I'm like, well, let me tell you what I've done. You know, so then you become into a, com- a competing race. What spouse did what with who and when and, you know, who did more work. And it, it, now you're just budding and fighting and it's just – now I look back at that and I'm like, I should have just got the dang pizza and just, you know, <laughs> and next, you know what I mean? Like something. And so yeah, I never really picked and choose my battles. I would just fight every single one. But as I get older, I realize what ones I should be fighting and which ones I can just let go and be like, look, it's not even worth it. But there is a conversation that should probably take place. But in the meantime, just for peace, we will make sure that our kids are fed and we will make sure that, uh, we are fed and, um, you know, that's it. And so, yeah, don't try to fight every battle because even then that's not, I mean, just, it's not good. Right. Well, it takes out of you. And here's what I invite you to do. In, we are not, we never came here to com- compete. We have came here to complete one another. Yeah. So if you speak from another perspective, you see that, well, how you can complete your spice today? Well, maybe, yes, gender-wise, she's supposed to cook, but maybe she had a very tough day, or maybe she, whatever that mm-hmm. was, or maybe she she was with kids. So what if you complete her today, and she'll be just super grateful next time? And yeah. and instead of competing with each other, who is hurt more or who is more successful, is what if we complete one another? And what I've learned, my biggest aha moments were that true, true, Strength is very gentle. Mm-hmm. True power, true power is very quiet. You know how usually when you are powerful, you want to just show it in your face. But honestly, the most powerful <laughs> people do it very quietly. Think about it. The most yeah. influential people, it's not, it's not the president. You don't know who they are. It's usually behind the president. Oh, yeah. And they, you don't know who they are. And I know for me, the, being my abilities where I can basically – change anybody's frequency or destiny uh god put me in so many times in a position where i would come to a major influencer and then i would be a person of a posi- of an influence or mega power in 20 seconds maybe because i spoke russian and or whatever whatever that is that i don't even know what that is all of a sudden puts All me right. in a position of authority but what i've learned to be very kind with that and never being resentful or say, oh, now it's my turn to show you what I can do because you were not nice to me in 2016 or whatever that was, right? Uh, yeah. But instead, but instead, I would be coming with so much kindness and say, hey, that's what I did. And some people would work and I, I still could get back a negative reaction, but, but I, it's a choice. And, so, and I've learned that wealth is very kind because most wealthiest people are very generous and kind. Think about mm-hmm. it. And yep. so if you leave from these three pre- principles, then things are different. And 
I personally right now go for the place where God says you have to stand strong. And I almost feel like there is no strength left, you know, it's like on the battlefield. But what I've learned right. that standing strong means that you're being you're not being loud, you're not saying you're not being aggressive, you're being completely standing in your power. And power is a very quiet place, as I said. It's you're standing in your power and you stand your ground. Because you, you know your values and you stand your ground. And mm. I believe that that that's when you win the battles. I have never been on a battlefield, a real battlefield, so I don't know, but I truly believe that that's how generals really win the battle. Sure. I mean, it just depends. You know, you've got various personalities, <laughs> and um, I think it's, yeah, but, I think it just, just depends, you know. But I if don't you come with um, revenge mentality or let me get you, it's one thing. But if you come with an energy of like, okay, I get it. But I will never batch from it. And it's funny because I, as a right. child, I always was like that. I, I grew up in a high school and, well, we have elementary high school together, uh, of a military elite. And I was a Russian Jewish kid talking about persecution and stuff. And I had a bright red hair always. And, and I remember how everybody was following that some one person who was supposed to be a KGB agent once high school is over, everybody knew it and everybody uh, was afraid of him. And I and he looked at me and I was always like I've never disobeyed him but I never followed him. Does that make sense? Right. It's like I was standing in my power and I was just not considered him my leader. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and it drove him crazy. And I was immigrating to US. I already knew that paper like it was a matter of two or three years. And so it's I was he didn't know what to do with that because I was a woman. He can't hit me. But right. it, it's just, I've learned it then. And I didn't know what, what am I, at the time it came, was coming to me so natural that I didn't even know what I'm doing differently from everyone else. But now that I look back is, and it's funny that I'm reconnecting with that piece where it's just, it's not, I, it just, it, that's what the standing it really is, is that you're standing in your power. You're being very kind. You're being, Standing in your power and pay passionate. You're not re- reflecting first. You're not calling back first. You're not replying first. You just let things unfold, but you stand in your ground and saying, well, if you want to be uh, like, that's how, that, those are the things that need to happen so we can go together and things like that. I agree. So that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I resonate comes, with all of that. Yeah. But it only comes when that that you connect with this big why. So for me, I only can do that then I understand my big why. Mm-hmm. Like with this oh, man, yeah. the young boy, wherever he was, I knew that he he runs the 30 people around me. So I knew that if I will not do that, I will have a nightmare of a high school. Being four generation intuitive, I could see that. So I knew that I have to withstand. Like, I remember that one moment I have an exercise issue. So imagine me not able to run and going and being in high school of military elite, right? So yeah. I always believe when you heal from the problem, you can laugh about it. And so I joke that being Jewish, we always run, but usually we run with somebody else's countries and somebody else's legs. And so I've, I, running is not my strength, right? So Mine um, neither. I hate <laughs> running. But but the point of that, yeah. Well, but but the point is the point of that is, uh, it was a P P uh, the P teacher right after or it was the last. It uh, the P teacher gave a low grade to the whole boys and didn't touch girls. And the reason why school was so strict on P because they were all going to military, right? Yeah. Uh, where I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, so, so they, and I have, uh, and so this boy made a huge comment. He's like, well, I'm getting B and Veronica getting B and she fucking can't even run. I'm sorry for my language. And, and she can't even, she can't even walk because I was wearing those ridiculously huge boots mm-hmm. uh, that like they were popular, but they were because they were not my size, they were a size bigger. So, <laughs> but I wanted them so badly. You know, I was 15, 16. So, um, so I remember that moment where I was like, I knew that moment that if I don't come back with something, I will be in trouble for the rest of the school year. And, and it was the beginning of the school year. And I remember I came to this person 
everybody is afraid of him. Teacher is afraid of him. Everybody is afraid of him, right? Or not, I mean, respectful because he's like, a hey, student, blah, blah, blah. And I come to right. him. Uh, I come to him and I, I look at him. I never forget that moment. I look at him face to face. I look at his eyes and very quietly say, you know, if, if someone is an idiot, my shoes and my running skills has nothing absolutely nothing to do with that and he was shocked he got a pink color he looked at me he's like what did you just say i said you've heard me perfectly and i left <sighs> and nobody nobody touched me i mean somebody who was in love with me got in trouble but nobody touched me <laughs> <laughs> nobody touched me and the reason nobody touched me is because because of that reason because um because I was withstanding in my power and the power was not the way they were trained to do. The power yep. wasn't like, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So would you say that that was a transformational moment in your life? Oh, no. or, or what, <laughs> so what was, so what was the transformational moment in your life that, put you on the path to what you're doing today? No, the moment I described was the moment when I recognized that I'm extremely, extremely powerful <laughs> and can <laughs> overcome anything. But the moment that right. actually got me where I am today was different. Imagine a big road and imagine a gas station and my RAV4 SUV with two tablets in the back, poor, hungry, starving and exhausted. Okay. Got it. Are you still there? Are you still there? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I got you now. Okay. 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 Yep. Keep going. So gas station. Okay. So I'm on a gas station and the first time in my life, the credit card doesn't go through once, twice, three times. And I realized that everything I have been 12 years in the country and for 10 and everything that I built for these 12 years was just melting away. Because divorce was, it was a moment where divorce, it got on me that divorce is final. And I was cut off for everything in a matter of a second from everything that I was building for 12 years in this country. And I remember I back, went back to my car and I look up where I usually talk to God like that. I look up and I mm -hmm. said, okay, how in the world did I get here? And what am I supposed to do? By that moment, I am. I haven't been working for two years, and I have two toddlers. Wow. And the information came so quickly. So I quickly remembered that when I came to this country, I was 18. So the incident that I shared with you guys, I was 16, 17 and a half, and that was 18. So it was a year, two years later. Um, I, I was 18. And, and in four short years, I finished finance degree, married the man of my dreams. Unfortunately, sometimes dreams change. Mm -hmm. We owned a house together, and I had a corporate job. So if you okay. think about it, most Americans cannot finish college in four years. Forget about doing all of that. Yeah. And, and what I haven't mentioned that. I spoke zero English when I came, and I have a heavy learning disability, meaning oh, wow. that I can tell anything in all three languages I speak. So, so how did I get there? Very easy. I got there by 
having a very clear vision of what I want, connected with my why, and completely disattached of how and where it's going to come from. Wow. And I knew if I figure it out one more time, and being a system, a system person, create a system of it, out of it, mm-hmm. not only I will be able to help millions of people and entrepreneurs like you, I will also show my toddlers what's possible. And my toddlers are not toddlers anymore. They are uh, 11 and 12. And when she was 10, my 10, 11 year old, when she was 10, she spoke on a stage with inspirational song and like put my clients to tears. Oh, very cool. And I call her my least ambitious child. And my most ambitious child (laughs) built his computer at the age of 11 from scratch on his on a budget and as we're speaking right now we're mining mining uh, currency uh, because we are divorced so he's mining currency and my husband he's not here uh wow. cryptocurrency that's intense so, well because i might not always give them financial things or other things that i wish but what i was give, able to give them opportunity to, to glimpse as to what they are. And I deeply believe, and that's why I founded um, You Rise Movement, because when you clearly know who you are and what is very next for you, you rise to your greatness and step to your destiny. And I am on a mission to help, I call it You Rise Movement. So I'm on a mm-hmm. mission to help millions of people to, to align with who they are and fulfill their destiny. So talk about t- talk about that a little bit more in depth about the about the rise movement. What does so that you look rise, like? So right now, I have a big vision for it. But would you like to know where I'm right now, or what am I building? It's two different. Not like I mean, if, if you if you like you and I were just having a conversation, and somebody goes, "Hey, what was that? What was the rise movement?" What would you say to them? So, you rise movement is if you think about coffee, Starbucks comes in mind. If you think about Google, a search engine, Google comes in mind. If you think about any transition in your life, like you think most people stay in corporate because they there is no not formula how to create your business. There is not formula how to come from one uh, life change to another starting with party training to going from one school to another or going to college or, or going marriage, divorce. There is not a system that allows you to navigate through that process. So your eyes movement will be there for you with a strong um, online and physical presence with uh, being, have a physical location in every major town. Uh, And they'll help you to go through that transition with you, clarity, community, and change. Okay. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. Everything starts with the clarity, and that's where I am right yes. now. I'm right now where I create programs of clarity that you welcome to to go through, and um, you welcome to find out more in, in Urise uh, website. And yep. every listener who listens, you guys are very welcome. I'm. I'll gift all of you with a free clarity session where we can talk more. And usually it's a half an hour session, but you could uh, reserve an hour and just put in a comment that you come from this podcast. Yeah. So everybody connect with Veronica, go to urise.today and connect with her on social media as well. And let her know that you heard her episode here on Life Transformation Radio and want to get a free clarity call with her, go ahead and do that. And so also, you're going you to have a free clarity call anyway, but if you mention that you are from here, you, instead of half an hour, you're going to have an hour. Right. Right. Uh, everybody listening right now to the show, if you're catching us live, from Tuesday through Friday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. If you're catching us live on Blog Talk Radio, 
call us up at 657-383-1109. 657-383-1109. If you have any questions for myself or Veronica, my team is standing by to field your questions and to get you on this show, and you can ask your question live. Veronica, what I want to talk about right now is the clarity. What I see a lot of business owners and entrepreneurs struggle with is clarity, clarity of their message, clarity of their story, clarity of what it is that they offer, clarity of whatever it is that their business is, what is it that they do. And I'm fascinated by people that can come in and go, oh, well, it's, it's this. This is what you do. Or, well, I, what I think you should do is do it this way. Or do, like, there's some people that just are like ninjas who can just come in and go, yep, it's this, it's this, put all the pieces together, and boop, there you go. Why? So, first off, I want to know what you see in the realm of clarity that holds people back. Why are we not clear? Well, usually what holds people back, and yes, I have that gift where I can come in and tell you exactly what is next for you. And it doesn't matter if you're just starting or you have a huge multi-million dollar company, you are a big speaker. I did a long distance energy work on Les Brown, and it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> I right. I just can come in and do that. It's a gift I have. Always it's amazing, uh, by the way, that you can even do that. Because I know for me, I rack my brain over things and agonize. Like, is that the right message? I don't know. Is it really clear? Like somebody who wants to, to be like somebody who wants to do some, you know, build their speaker business, you know, and I do some speaker coaching. Uh, do they want to build their business? And I'm like, oh, I've got something for you. You know, like, am I clear? Because, you know, confused minds don't buy. And I'm yeah. always cognizant. Do I, like, am I clear? So, yeah, I'm sorry. Continue. You know, talk about that, that clarity and how important that is and, and, and how you can help. So here's what I want to start with. Very often when I say I work with people on clarity, people say, oh, um, I, am, I, I have my goals. Or, oh, yeah, I am in a goal business too. So goals and clarity are two different things. Uh, let me clarify that for you. So goals is you and I set up a time to have that conversation, that radio show, right? That is a goal. Yep. Clarity is then this goal is aligned with my life purpose and your life purpose. That becomes a clarity. So this is clarity definitely is my purpose. Yeah, it's, and so what's the difference? Because when you achieve goal, it's one thing. But when you achieve goal aligned with your life purpose, you feel a deep, deep fulfillment. So how oh, you know yeah. that it's the right message, you're going to be feeling much more fulfilled after you get from stage. That's love how it. you know. So oh, that's number it. one. Yeah, so that's number one. So number two, what holding people back? So between the age of zero to seven, what usually happens, we download everything. We download mm -hmm. all information. And it goes to our subconscious. It's like, attic in your house or basement in your house depends where you live and yep. and it's it just like cell phones right cell phones programs of a cell phones create apps right the difference is yep. that we upgrade our cell phones once or twice a month and we never yep. upgrade our program so whatever we decided between the age of zero to seven that's how we run our life so what wow. I do and what I come in, being fourth generation intuitive, I almost instantly know what thoughts and beliefs holding you back. Because you have to understand, whatever is got you here, it's you're here because of that. But now it's time to kind of shift it and change it. You know, the app that was so great in 2016 needs to be upgraded for 2019. And the same with your subconscious. So that's what separate me from any other people, even in a clarity business, because what I help to do, I energetically remove what's holding you back. And it's, it's, it wow. could be something very small and very little, or it could be something significant, especially if anyone, so what holds people back? So if they've been in their environment, didn't approve of their natural talent, they learn to shut it down. 
And because of the law of attraction, what also happens, we attract what we are. So let's say I am fourth generation intuitive and I can literally change anybody's frequency in five minutes and know what people are in 15 to 20 minutes conversation and what holding the bar and where they're going, right? But because of my abilities my, and my fourth generation, my family, many people can do it. Maybe not to, to my level, but many people can. And so every single girlfriend of mine, so which I, for a very long time, I did not know that the rest of the world did not know how to do it because, well, it's easy, right? So whatever that's easy for you, you have to understand it's not easy for the rest of the world. And the moment you understand right. that, then you're ready to capitalize on that. Because some that's things are awesome. Easy. Yeah, some things are easier. So some things is much easier to see. Like, for example, I'm a certified chef. So when I need a nanny and I've had three nannies, then one stays with us for a long time, but my first three nannies, and I was like, well, you do woo woo. And they're like, you do what? <laughs> and, and then I've quickly realized that, well, I'm better at cooking than my nannies. <laughs> All right. And then I become a certified chef because I've realized that I'm better at cooking than the 90% of the people. So with cooking, it's easier when it's something physical, but what if it's something mental, right? Like right. energy work, something more invisible. So mm-hmm. just, so what holding people back is thinking that what you can do is everybody else can and upgrading your subconscious. That's amazing. And I, and I definitely heard about the science behind that from zero to seven. The kids are just, they're all over the place. They're learning everything. They're consuming everything, phones, tablets, TVs, radio, your interaction with other humans. They are, Soaking it all in, and I heard somewhere uh, it wasn't like Facebook or I mean I literally heard it like on a news website somewhere that said that a person's worldview isn't even formed for the first like ten years, like yeah. like at ten they start to form their worldview because they've soaked up all the knowledge. So they say you know yeah. children are about ten years old can tell you what their worldview is and how they view the world. I'm like that's yeah. incredible. That's just absolutely super insane. <laughs> so, so I got to be cognizant because I have a two-year-old and a five-year-old. So now I got to <laughs> be aware. I'm like, man, like, am I treating the mom right? Right? Am I treating my wife correctly? Am I treating them the way that they want to be treated? Am I loving them according to their love language? It's a great book, The Five Love Languages yeah. by Gary Chapman. It's a great book. Am I loving them according to their love language or am I selfishly loving them the way that I want to love them, which it may, it may not even be received well. So there's, there's all, all sorts of facts, psychology, researches, all sorts of that stuff done. And I love how you've taken stuff that we would, we would normally think of, you know, I've, I've got a clarity problem or whatever. And you've, twisted it and are doing amazing work and you've positioned yourself so differently than any and I and I knew that it would more than likely happen as soon as I read like energy and like all that I'm like okay okay I've had I've had a bunch I've had a bunch of energy healers I've had um people who focused on some of the aspects that you do but every time they're so different. They're drastically different. Not even in the same realm is different. And and I love that. So But it makes how it's just you... like the doctors. Different doctors have different professions. And I, I know that even when I need a healer, because we, we as a human consciousness don't understand that. Like presidents understand that. Presidents all have healers, but but we oh, yeah. don't understand on a common level that because there is nothing when you have, like, I know that I didn't have a healer for a while, and it's very hard for me to find somebody who can match my level. But <laughs> people who, who can help me with, because I, I am an Olympic champion when it comes to that piece of life. And oh boy. anyone who, yeah, it's, it's, it's a whole different level. And, and, and I've learned it because I would come to those people, and, and, and it was like one popular guru from India, and my mentor says, like, you can come to her, but Unless, unless she's planning to make you her guru, it's not going to work for you. 
And I said, well, but you don't understand. All these people come to her. So I came to her and got to the same conclusion as my mentor already knew. <laughs> and it's, 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 but what I know that the moment I found the right healer, like my whole life started moving much faster. So it's because it's a whole different level. Oh, cool. And that's why I, 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 coaching is great, but coaching cannot nearly do what energy work can. It just can't. Mm. It's like, it's a, it's a traditional Coaching is a traditional surgery. Traditional surgery cannot do what laser surgery can. It just cannot. Oh, I I love your analogies. <laughs> like I love I love the way you well, put because things. People don't understand you just think energy, in a you different. Know? Yeah. Yeah, you just My think mind. in a whole new level. Well, it's what call that's what spiritual leaders are here for. <laughs> <laughs> So, so as we start to wrap up the show, uh, we got a couple minutes left. How do you elevate the world around you, and how can someone work with you? So, sign up for free session, or find me on Veronica Rosenfeld, and I'll be happy to tell you more about the programs that I have, and uh, that will help you. So, if you are stagnated in your life, if you have relationship issues if you want to lose looking for momentum in your life or in your business if you are um just feel unfulfilled in your life that that program is for you and i have a complimentary session so come talk to me and we'll see if it works for you um so how do i elevate the world i've aligned my energy that if i just show up anywhere people literally feel better so i don't know if you feel it right now or if 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 listeners listen feel to that right now today is my bad day so i'm not sure if it's not as strong as sometimes (laughs) but uh, today is the day is i les brown says character development day and um what I know is, is that my energy, wherever I show up, is literally people feel and change, change just by being and around. And contagious. Me. It's contagious. Yes. So, so how do I elevate the world? By just showing up very often. I've had so many Love times it. when people say, well, I just feel better by just being around you. And I said, yes. Thank you. But it, 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 in, in, it's aligned that way. And that's how you can spot a healer usually. Healers are usually, that's how you could spot the healer. Well, we all, we all have healing abilities. So you guys all know, you all have healing abilities. Just, it's like running. We all can run. Some of us run marathons and some of us run sure. on Olympics and some of us are just walking. So it's the same thing with mm-hmm. energy work and healing. And when it comes to, so we all are capable of that. It's just how much you accept that in yourself and how much you're willing to work with that. Yeah. And, um, and that gives hope because everybody, I mean, you can do this and it's so, so super important. It is so important to get that clarity, to get out any of that, that negativity that's in your life that holds you back. And if you're not clear on your next move, that too can hold you back from getting to that next level. We got to know what that next level is. We have to know what we're thinking and feeling and believing about these moments, about the world. And I do a lot of work about thoughts, feelings, and beliefs, you know, and about mm-hmm. resilience. And it's just, it is super important to know and understand how you think, feel, and believe about the world. And most people don't. So, uh, so I want to thank you so much for coming on the show is absolutely amazing. Uh, you're absolutely doing incredible, incredible work. And the fact that Les Brown presented you with that award, I think is a milestone that very, very few people can even say that that happened. So I'm happy for your success. I love everything that you're doing. It is so sorely needed in the world. And I just appreciate you and all the work that you're putting out. Thank you so much. And I truly appreciate you and the podcast today. Thank you for the opportunity. You are absolutely welcome. And with that, Life Transformation Radio listeners, an amazing guest impacting the world around her. If anything resonated with you, please 
connect with her, go to www.uyouurise.today. You rise dot today and connect with her on LinkedIn, Facebook, and other social media platforms. Connect with her and get that clarity session with Veronica and let her know that you heard her episode of Life Transformation Radio. And with that, I close the show by saying live your brand. Find opportunities every day to live out the core values that you hold deep in your heart. And I call this living your brand. So until next episode, live a great life.